but but uh, he'll be back after Christmas and uh, we've got a cracking game on here Vincent van der Voort finishing off a 105 bull that's 50 of them 15 and tops and interestingly the previous leg he almost took out 103 using the bull and then the 13 and, and just missed tops uh, but We've already had a match, uh, of course, Mark Walsh getting through to the last 16 at the expense of Justin Pike. There's the current game. We'll resume that in a few seconds. And to follow that, we've got James Wade against Steve Beaton. Yes, the afternoon session here at the Alexander Palace, and what an evening session we've got as well as we've reached the conclusion of the second round, and indeed begin the third round, the last 16 tonight, here at the Alexander Palace. Now, Vincent van der Voort, unlucky bounce out with the last start, but playing significantly better than he did in that first round tie against Stuart Kelly. And when Stanley not done himself justice yet, hasn't found the groove, and there's a perfect example. He's going to have to get his act together pretty quickly because he really pushed hard to beat Mervyn King, went all the way in that game, 16. and he played wonderfully, wonderfully well. Now, this fella needs to get it together. That's a good dart. That's an equal one to it. Well, Nigeli must have been tuned in to you because what did he do? He got it together. First 180 of the match didn't think we'd have to wait until the second set but I reckon we might get a few more now that he's found the range 96 yep that was more like it then 1-180 in the game so far and Van der Voor looking for another trouble lovely darts it's going to be a good game this as we say long way to go Van der Voort knows that although he's got the first set in the bag this fella is made of stern stuff, he's a true character, and he will push him every step of the way. Yes, and uh, he's a real scrapper, one of the best in the sport, to be fair. He's proven that a time and time again. Over the years, of course, in the BDO, England Open champion, German Open champion, Belgian Open champion. Grand Slam semi-finalist not so long ago. Did the other treble 20, didn't he? Then to leave double 12, but he's Vincent now got to rely, despite having hit a 180 on Van der Voort missing double 16. Fraction in. Oh, too far. Now, five. what an opportunity for Dean Winstanley. He knows 40. it. For a break of throw. Got to do better than that. This is a big shot now. 20. Oh dear, 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 Vincent Dino. Did he flick the flight? Took a slight deflection, didn't it? Yeah. Double four. Not convincing. But that hey, is, and Van der Voort wins the leg. Dean wins Stanley and his chance Lover. to break the throw. Now he's got to throw well to hold it. One feels. Yes, and the winner of this game will face the winner of James Wade and Steve Beaton in what is shaping up to be an absolutely fantastic lineup for the third round. And look at this from Van der Voort. 140. Slight deflection with the last start there. Still only one, the one maximum between them. Um, you expect a lot more than that as this game goes on. And when Stanley will know, he should have broken Van der Voort at the first leg of the second set. And can Van der Voort find oh, his first maximum? There is the answer in emphatic style. You don't get many better 180s than that. You should get a bonus, really, when you put them all pinprick style. 101. So beautifully grouped. Uh, beautiful to watch. And uh, one of those players so quick that when things are going Did right, it's a sight to see. When things are going wrong, it's hard to rectify matters. Bullseye here for Win Stanley. 101. I'm lucky, and again, he's got to rely on Vandervoort missing. Double 16 for a break of throw and a two leg lead. And Vandervoort is Vincent a different player. 
Turn the one there. in the first Benson. round. Benson. It's five Benson. successive legs. Benson. Wayne Stanley has not won a leg in this match so far. Worrying times for Dean Wynn Stanley, but Van der Voort is playing some very tidy darts here. Playing the best darts now of the match. He's got his average up over 90. Wynn Stanley in the mid 80s. He's, he's upped his game uh, since the end of the last set, but he hasn't won a leg. But he has got his second 180. And never write Dean Wynn Stanley off. There are people who know exactly what I mean. 96. He can be three sets down and still consider himself a possibility. What a scrap, what a fighter. Yeah, gritty Yorkshireman, Dean Wynn Stanley. Good 90. to watch. But Van der Voort, not one of his better visits to the board, that one. Now he's lost a flight, has he? No? Oh, a wasp! Oh well. The last thing we need is a wasp. But he's been stung already, hasn't he, by some early play from Van der Voort, and uh, somehow he's got to recover. Wilting there because they won't go in. You see, he's hit a 180, and yet his second favourite to win the leg. His previous 180 was in a losing leg. Of course, he hasn't had a winning leg yet. I think he'll get one though before too long. When that first one, 59. when that first one is attained, Nigel, I, think, I think he'll move on from there. Travel 20 for tops. Stay on the board and leaves himself double 10. And Van der Voort is looking good for a quick fire two set lead unless Win Stanley can take this out. Oh, bullseye he needs. This is massive for Dean Win Stanley. Oh, decent effort, Vincent not quite enough. Quiet. Double 10 20. for Van der Voort for a second straight set. Oh, fraction in from that. No problem for the Dutchman. Win Stanley's giving his all. But